I'm Dr. Henry Ziegler. I'm a Episcopal medical missionary here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I'm here to work with our team here in the Anglican Diocese of Dar es Salaam. We are focused on 83,000 people in a poor neighborhood of Dar es Salaam, and we are trying to work with that population to help them improve their own health and live longer. As medical missionaries, our role is to working with the people here improve people's quality of life and length of life. There are five million people in Dar es Salaam and another one million living in the surrounding coast region in Tanzania. The country is one of the poorest countries in Africa and the mission work strives to help as many of these persons as possible. Although there is great poverty here, there is a presiding democratic government with relative political stability. Most Tanzanians do not have regular access to doctors, hospitals, clinics, or even basic health care. The country is inflicted with malaria, AIDS, tuberculosis, and many other treatable ailments that often result in early death. Pregnant women and infants are especially likely to die prematurely. Many seriously ill children are brought to the health center for treatment. Tanzania has some of the worst maternal and newborn death rates in the entire world. 98,000 children under the age of five die before they reach that fifth birthday. One such sick child named Rashid was found to have AIDS and was also seriously malnourished. The Tanzanian staff immediately began feeding the little boy a special liquid treatment in order to quickly nourish his weak body. This is just one of many little ones who are treated and saved. The Church of the Holy Cross is the USA home church for Henry and Priscilla Ziegler. This mission story began when these two Holy Cross parishioners made a very personal decision to try to make a difference in the lives of thousands of men, women, and children whom they had never met. In 2005, Henry and Priscilla received a call from Bishop Mokiwa of the Dar es Salaam Anglican Diocese, offering a commission to serve as missionaries in Dar es Salaam. The Zigglers gladly accepted the commission by the Anglican Church of Tanzania. Both Henry and Priscilla were highly qualified for this mission, as Henry is a medical doctor trained in clinical medicine and public health, and Priscilla is a nurse educator. Both had already completed extensive mission work. When they arrived at the Bugaruni Health Center in Dar es Salaam to begin their mission work, they found a willing but demoralized staff. Most of the building structures were in disrepair and had plumbing and electrical issues. Medications were scarce and medical supplies were lacking. The overall conditions in and around the buildings were deplorable. At the health center, Henry and Priscilla worked side by side with the staff and the local community to build trust and hope by sharing the many tasks and responsibilities. Working together, they helped create a cohesive and organized team, providing the support and additional training required to improve staff skills. The result was that the staff began taking over more and more of the necessary care. Today, with additional training made possible through donations, staff members have been able to perform their duties even more effectively. Now, all of the medical care at the health center is provided by a Tanzanian staff. This includes care available for all ages, including comprehensive AIDS care, tuberculosis treatment, and maternal and child health services. Tanzanian women and children who have the greatest needs are given basic prenatal care, well child care, immunizations, preventive programs, nutrition counseling, family planning, and comprehensive obstetrical services. 
In addition to the major improvements in staff training and improved care, the damaged building structures have also been refurbished. Four new buildings have since been built. These new structures open up huge possibilities for new services, including the new surgical wing. Today, instead of 15 patients a day, they now care for more than 180 patients daily. Today at the Health Center, there is a great sense of accomplishment as newborn deliveries have doubled since November 2011. Healthy mothers and babies smile with gratitude and happiness as they leave the health center. Recall the little orphan boy, Rashid, who came into the health center, so ill with AIDS and also malnourished. He is now seven years old and attends the health center's AIDS program. He takes his medications regularly and is thriving. Such successful and happy endings are occurring more and more often thanks to the generous donations to the Health Tanzania Foundation. In order to further serve the community, the center now offers free or discounted services for those who are unable to pay for care. These treatments include well children care, family planning assistance, testing and treatment for both HIV AIDS and tuberculosis. Thanks to generous donors and the expansion of the Bugaruni Health Center, the facility will soon become a full-fledged hospital with a new name, the St. James Anglican Hospital. Services will focus mainly on women and children. When completed, the new obstetrical and surgical buildings will provide more space for many additional treatments. Once operational, the surgical facility and maternity ward will have 16 beds for prenatal and postnatal care, in addition to the six delivery beds. New donors can help ensure that these essential structures are up and running as additional funding is sorely needed as we become a full hospital serving 200,000 needy persons. The successful completion of these multiple expansions has been coupled with community-wide health programs and medical services. While medical care is vital, community health and prevention programs can save many more lives. Our community focus has been mainly in the poor neighborhoods, around the health center, in isolated villages in the coast region, and the Dar City diocesan churches. The home-based care program was initiated for very sick and isolated persons in the neighborhoods, with care provided in the homes of the very ill. This program today serves an average of 35 homebound persons who are visited on a regular schedule. Assistance is given to the family members so that they can better care for their loved ones at home. In addition, the home-based care program serves as a hospice program allowing the terminally ill persons to receive care with comfort and dignity in their own homes. A second community program provides help for orphan children who have lost their parents to AIDS. This program enables the children to stay in their community and to live with family members. Currently, there are 80 children in this program. All receive health care, emergency food assistance, and educational support. The third program initiated assistance for the St. Augustine Primary School, which is right next door to the health center, making it a natural place to initiate a community program. When it was recognized that many of the children came to school with no breakfast and often no lunch, a nutritious morning meal was then provided to more than 250 children. Other donated funds were used to repair and improve outside school facilities, as well as making improvements to interior classrooms and other spaces accessible to the students. In the last year, donors purchased classroom computers to enable the school to start a growing computer literacy program. Over the years, our mission work has taken us to more isolated coastal regions located at the mouth of the Rufiji River. Here, much of our work focuses on decreasing mortality rates 
of the local mothers and babies, and also to reduce deaths from malaria. We have distributed thousands of treated mosquito nets. Future efforts will take the mission even further to aid Tanzanians all across the more than 14 isolated islands in the Delta. Back at their home church in Virginia, Henry and Priscilla made time to educate and update the parishioners of the Holy Cross Church on the Tanzanian mission efforts. Let me tell you about more of our Tanzanian mission and about some of what you and others like you are doing as part of that amazing program. Understanding the mission and how it has succeeded in helping so many sparked a desire in many Holy Cross members to undertake a mission trip. The first group of 10 Holy Cross parishioners traveled to Dar es Salaam in 2012, and they saw firsthand the great need in Tanzania. They were able to put their various skills to work at the Bugaruni Health Center and the St. Augustine School, helping to improve the lives of those they met. A second missionary trip was also organized and became a reality in 2014 for another group of Holy Cross parishioners, including several young high school teens. Today, as Holy Cross and other partner churches work with Henry and Priscilla, the health programs and hospital continue to grow and expand to help more and more people in need of quality health care. But there is always more that can be done. Ask what you and your church can do to support Health Tanzania. Please join us with your prayers, your personal involvement, and if able, your financial gifts. The people of Tanzania need your love and assistance. I don't believe you have to be religious to do this work. You do have to care about and love other people and being religious particularly if you believe in a loving God and believe you have to show that love helps greatly in being able to love unconditionally. Asante sana. Thank you very much. <laughs>